Hey, uh, Dave here with Saddleback Leather. I'm going to show you how they make m slippers for so cheap. Because people, you know, people ask me, "Hey, uh, Dave, why are your slippers so expensive?" And I say, um, "No, the wrong question. Why are theirs so cheap?" So let me explain a little some of the tricks that they do, um, and so that you'll understand when you see these slippers, you go, "Oh, mm, is that why they're so cheap?" And so uh, anyway. So what they do, one of the things that they do is the, they'll say made with sheepskin, made with real high quality sheepskin. And it may be right here down is all like real natural, nice, high quality sheepskin. And from here, from everywhere where the sun don't shine, down that hole, they uh, use faux sheepskin, some sort of synthetic that looks just like this. And that makes your feet sweat and then bacteria grows and it stinks. Um, and, uh, but real, she real sheepskin wicks away moisture, okay? The second way they do it is, oh, this is tricky. I just found this out, it's really interesting. So what they'll do is they'll take all the hair off. So instead of like cutting with clickers or whatever, cutting off and having a lot of waste and scrap, they'll take all of it off and then they'll make like sheepskin carpet with it. And like on a synthetic, like weave they'll have the hairs coming up so they'll put the synthetic sheepskin carpet here and you wonder why you get a bald spot right here where your heel is all the time because it just comes off because it's glued there somehow um but that just wears off real full-on shearling sheepskin like sheepskin with the hair on it is shearling and that i tell you is the way to go um that is real, lasts a long, long time. It's super durable, but uh, sheepskin carpet is what they do. But that was really interesting. Let's see, um, they'll say made with genuine leather. So here we go. So genuine leather, uh, let me explain leather to you real quick. <clears throat> so if you have a, a big thick hide like this, okay, it comes into the tanner, let's say this is uh, seven feet, eight feet across, okay? They take the hide and they run it through a machine and they split the top from the bottom, and it splits. Now this has all the grain on it. This is the top half, the top 25% of the hide, and, the, and which is 25%, so it's 50%. Um, this has all the really tough fibers, like, like this really, really hard and tough fibers, really dense, and it's the top half's heavier than the bottom half. And um, so it gets wet, no big deal. It gets mustard on it, no big deal. You just wipe, wipe it off because it's so, the fibers and pores are so tight together. But the bottom half, as the fibers go down, they go like this. And then they just kind of pull apart easily. So it stretches easily, suede stretches easily. Suede, genuine, or split leather, because it's split off. Uh, that's the bottom half. So, oh, they're genuine, it's not genuine leather, it's genuine leather. And that's the suede or the bottom half. Suede, it's good looking, but it's hard to clean it stretches, over stretches in fact. Check out this slipper. This is, I've had a lot of prototypes here. So this slipper and this slipper, this one is a lot wider than this one, but it's because it's stretched. I broke my foot, broke my toe, and I wore these slippers for man, three months out in the rain and wore them to work, to church, to the store. I wore them everywhere. And, um, and they were fantastic, performed wonderfully. So anyway, but they stretch out a little bit. Suede will extra stretch out. And it's super, super, way cheaper than full grain leather. We use full grain leather on ours. Uh, they use the, the, the genuine leather or suede. Uh, some people just come out and say it. So then I checked. Okay, this, this pair of soles, the sole right here, just the leather itself is um, 12 bucks, uh, more or less around $12. And then we have uh, scrap and we have all that stuff that we throw away. We have all the work, all the finishing, all the beauty of it, right? If I want to just put a piece of rubber, just, a, just a, out of a, just th this shape, but a piece of rubber on it, it's 70 cents. I checked with the provider. Uh, it's 70 cents. If I want to put foam on it, like a foam base, kind of squishy foam, that's 75 cents. Okay, 70 cents or 75 cents versus $12. That's a huge difference in why theirs is cheaper. Now this, this lasts longer, 
It's better looking, it feels better. It's better to walk in the home. It slides, but not slips. It's, it, you can shuffle. It's a fantastic, doesn't grip. Um, and it just feels good to have a pure natural. These are 95% biodegradable. The others with all of those synthetics are, um, are mostly synthetic. And so your feet just sweat. So then you have the cheap padding. So if you hear someone who says, oh, we have a memory foam in our, in our for padding. I can't believe they told you that. That's horrible. Like it, it even feels like crunchy kind of ew, memory foam uh, foot beds and stuff. That's, it's like, it's a disaster. It should be illegal, uh, but they do it anyway. And, um, and it deteriorates and before long your heel and your, the ball of your foot are like, it feels like you're pressing on walking on hardwood floors or on tile, uh, barefoot. It's very uncomfortable because this doesn't always stay squishy. And by the way, the density of the sheepskin also is a big deal and different densities for different things. Uh, this, you know, we, we require a certain density for it, for our, our sheepskin slippers. So we put a, a, a full pad in here all the way from the top to the bottom, not all the way to the edge. We want to have a little more breathability and stuff like that in here, but we have in the middle, um, we have a, a pad. This is the only synthetic thing we have in there, but it's just super high dense, high density uh, pad that when this compresses, when it packs out, uh, you're going to have that squish still. So that's another way they do it. Let's see um, the thread. So we use a polyester thread. Not just a small little detail, uh, but it's it's pretty much what they use on sails and on ships and and on work boots and stuff like that. They use that polyester thread. They use an automotive uh, for seats. Uh, and it, they need it to to last. Nylon thread's about half the price, and uh, it's terrible. It, it it deteriorates with UV light with sunlight. Um, it with heat it deteriorates and then it just falls apart and you'll have i'm guessing three years with it uh before it just deteriorates um, and it starts coming apart so that's why they do that and then also a lot of them don't even use like a rubber or foam they'll use just like a synthetic bottom which is probably even cheaper but and then they'll use inside of here a synthetic layer which which is on the on the carpet, on the sheepskin carpet. And so now you put your foot in there and it, of course, yeah, the vapor comes off your feet, off your skin and goes up in there, but it stops there. It's like going into a small sealed off room with 20 people after a, after you just finished wrestling out in the out in the living room <clears throat> and you're sweating, you're hot and you're breathing and it just gets all muggy and steamy in there like a locker room. This is like a, a shoes locker room when they use synthetics. So the bottom is all synthetics. The top is all synthetics. And then, uh, and then in this, on synthetics, when they get moist, they grow bacteria and bacteria stinks. So when you get stinky feet is because you have bacteria growing in your slippers and then you have to clean them. And uh, these don't grow bacteria because you don't have synthetics. And if they do, you get a little uh, baking soda, sprinkle it all in there and then vacuum it out in the morning and or after 24 hours or put it in the freezer for 24 to 48 hours, your slippers and that smell should be gone. If you happen to have your feet in dirty shoes and then you put them in there and, you know, regularly after you go home from work. So uh, <clears throat> and then um, our labor cost. So uh, where a lot of these are made, um, they don't have to pay as much for labor um, because some of it's for them is free. Um, ours, uh, our people go home at night and they really enjoy their family and they come home, they come back to work with smiles on their face. Uh, they have that freedom um, and that isn't everywhere in the world. So um, whatever you do, buy in a place, wherever you buy your slippers, I'm not this it may not be your style. Maybe you don't like the look of these and maybe they're too expensive, um, but uh, buy in a place, buy your slippers from a place that, that loves and cares for people. So I um, want to encourage you to do that. We love and care for our people. Uh, we have marriage programs. We have, um, we have parenting programs. We have um, a daycare there. 
that's sort of, they have to pay some for that now. We have a school. Uh, it's an uh, American homeschool curriculum. They get a, a degree from, a, from an American high school when they finish. It's fully English. You know, it's a pretty cool place down where we have our, uh, our factory in Mexico. And we are so proud of it. They do wonderful and excellent work. And you will love these slippers. These, I believe these are the nicest slippers in the world. These uh, soles are what they make, what they put on uh, the classiest, the finest, the um, all the bespoke shoes for kings and princes, um, custom boots. Everywhere you go, they have these. And they have a little bit of rubber here on the heel. But once you break these in and scuff them up a little bit, uh, they will end up being your favorite slippers. So anyway, uh, last a long time, comfortable flex, all that sort of thing. That's what you're after. They don't stretch, uh, but that's why ours are more expensive. And that's why theirs are so cheap.